After coming to Mathura, Lord Sri Krishna could not go back to Vrindavan to perform Ras Lila with his dear Gopis and Radharani. So from that time, Rathi Yatra was performed, hoping that the Lord will come back to Vrindavan. My doubt is what Krishna wants to teach us by this. I don't know who this Shobha is or what her eligibility is to ask such questions. Uh, my, in most cases, it would be more relevant to ask questions such as uh, related to the level of devotional service that we are on. If we speak about Krishna's Ras Lila and his feeling for the gopis, if we concentrate on this, what will we understand? Better to understand Bhagavad Gita as it is. Anyway, uh, the question is, what does Krishna want to teach us by this? So why, why do we presume Krishna wants to teach us anything? His Leela is for his own enjoyment. His speaking Bhagavad Gita is to teach us. So we, we require to be taught, so study Bhagavad Gita. As far as, uh, actually the question is full of so many, it's a short three-line uh, writing, but they're full of so many misunderstandings. Krishna could not go back to Vrindavan to perform Ras Lila. It's not only Ras Lila in Vrindavan. There are so many other Leelas going on. From that time, Rathiyatra was performed, hoping that the Lord will come back to Vrindavan. Historically speaking, the Rathiyatra that goes on in Puri didn't start with uh, Krishna not coming to Vrindavan. Actually, Krishna did come back to Vrindavan. So, the Rathiyatra started much later, historically speaking, than Krishna's leaving this world. But that, uh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu attended Rathiyatra, many hundreds of years after the Rathiyatra in Puri began, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was in the mood of Radha bringing Krishna to Vrindavan. Prior to that, uh, that Leela had not been known or heard of or understood. So these are all very uh, esoteric subjects.